Hey guys, and welcome to The Evil Within 2, a game that I have really, really been looking forward to. Um, I bought it today. Uh, I got some kind of um, DLC pack with it as well that gives you some like extra stuff, apparently, when you get to Chapter 2. Now, I have... Um, tried the first like 30 seconds of this well I don't know two minutes I would say of this game um, just to see because I've heard lots of reports that it runs like shit on the PC um, and I hope by now they might have patched it but uh, I did jump into the game for a couple of minutes um, I will ex I'll show you where I got to which is really not very far at all and can confirm this game runs like a dog's ass. That's putting it lightly. Uh, I do have the performance metrics up here um, for science. Uh, that will only be here for the first uh, for the first video. I just want to try and gauge it. Um, my computer has an i5. Um, was it four six ninety? Um, and a GTX ten sixty. So it's not like top of the line stuff. But it's more than capable for any game at uh, 1080p. So why this game runs so badly, it, uh, it just seems to be a repeat of the first game all over again. Um, but sadly, I'm hoping it's not going to ruin it too much for me. I noticed, um, although the frame rate was quite low, it was about 45, it's between 40 and, and like 60 frames a second, which that in itself is... Yeah, shit but you know what can you do lowering the graphics settings and having them on ultra does next to nothing as well um so everything's on high uh high or as ma as high as it can go um but but that is what it is maybe that maybe they will patch it eventually uh, i have been looking forward to this game quite a lot um I've avoided pretty much everything about it. Uh, the only thing I know about this game is uh, it's now a lot uh, bigger. It's um, more open world, uh, which is really, really interesting. Um, and I'm not really sure what to expect. I'm kind of getting like a Resident Evil 4 kind of vibe, maybe, if we're lucky. But uh, who knows? Now, at the end of the last game... Um, of course, we did get out of the, um, the STEM system. Also, we thought... Um, we did see Ruvik um, walking off into the distance. It looked like he had taken over the body of what was what was that guy called? I can't remember the name of that um, that weird weird guy. Um, the kind of like handicapped guy. I can't think of his name right now. My mind has gone blank. But it did look like he had possessed him to some degree. Um, so I guess we're about to find out. Anyway. Let's hit up new game. Uh, oh, one thing about the performance that was annoying me. There's a lot of stutter. And stutter irritates the hell out of me. Apparently the PC version is quite bad. The Xbox One version, uh, from what I've heard, is garbage. Uh, but the, the PS4 version apparently is pretty good. So that's frustrating. Anyway, uh, yeah, well, I, I don't even think I got to a safe spot to be honest. But okay, sure. So here's Sebastian looking a lot younger with his wife there and of course his daughter that uh, apparently burned to death. We have choices of difficulty casual for those who want to experience the story without a struggle. Items are abundant and you can take many more hits before you die. Eh, don't like the sound of that. For those uh, who want the basics of a survival horror experience, keep an eye on resources, approach situations with caution and don't get overconfident mm, yeah yeah all right uh, for those who enjoy challenge and for experienced survival horror players resources are limited and enemies hit much harder careful item management and strategic play are an absolute must to survive recommended for players who enjoyed the difficulty of the previous game okay so i have heard uh one thing a lot of the reviewers mentioned now again i haven't really read any reviews or anything like that but i have you know kind of absorbed people's opinions on it and from what i can understand it's much better than the first game but apparently it is really really hard now they said the first game was really really hard and 
It was in places. I wouldn't say the first game was hard. I would just say it was cheap and very, very unforgiving at times. Uh, which I'm assuming is going to be roughly the same as this. So we're going to go middle of the road. We're going to go survival. Aim assist? What? On a PC game? Um. Please choose whether you like... Use aim assist. Aim assist will automatically lock your targeting reticle onto enemies, significantly decreasing the difficulty of combat. Say it to disabled is recommended for experienced players. Um, I mean, if I was using a control pad, I might consider it, possibly, but no. Now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we go. Home engulfed in flames. Tragic fire that kills child and nanny. Yeah, yeah, remember that much. Oh, what was that kid's name? It's going to drive me mad. Ah, oh. I could Google it right now on my phone, but I don't want to. Oh, mum and dad. No. Chapter one: Into the Flame. No, no, this is not happening. <laughs> oh, it's happening, Sebastian. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I've seen the future, and it's it, it's not good. Um, okay, so one thing I did notice actually is Sebastian controls a lot nicer in this one. He controlled like a like a brick, is like a massive elephant uh, wading through treacle in the first game. It was actually really horrible to play, but this he actually feels quite uh, nippy. I like it. No sprint bar, which is interesting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God, I can Lily. already... It's alright, don't worry about Lily. I can already feel the performance tugging. It's, it's, it's horrible. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Whoa, okay. Not good, Sebastian. Not good, buddy. Not good. Let's uh, try another way. Damn it. Yeah, ain't happening. Oh, here we go. That's using the noodle. Hello. I'm here. Where are you? Sebastian. Oh, oh God, she upstairs. It sounds like it. Sebastian, you just broke your window, buddy. I hope we don't need that. Um, right guys, this is where I got to. So everything from here on out is new. Sebastian, you have quite a nice place here. I guess. People have been ragging on the graphics as well. I think the graphics look fine. I mean, it ain't a, uh, an award winner, but it's they're absolutely fine. How did this happen? Uh, I don't know. Sebastian's voice acting is very wooden. It's yeah. Whoa, fuck! It's not. It's not fantastic. But Sebastian was always a bit of a rubbish character. He was very much a blank slate, to be honest. Didn't really have a lot of personality. Uh, I'm hoping he's a little bit better in this game. Oh shit! I'm um, coming, Lily. Just hold on. Come, Sab. Let's go get our kid and get the fuck out of here. Looks like it's pretty hot in here. Here, uh -oh. Lily. I'm here. Um, I guess we're going under. Under. Left control is crouch. Okay, that's not bad. Left control's crouch and shift is run. That's going to be. Possibly problematic, but we're, we're, we'll deal with that as we go on. Now, when it gets to collectibles as well, I don't know what sort of collectibles we're going to get. I have no idea. Nope, we ain't going through there. This has got to be our room. Man, there's fire everywhere. That makes sense. It's a house fire, so... Ooh. I guess there's... Ah, well, that kind of gives it away, really. Lily kids drawings all over the door I mean you know I mean if, if one of these rooms is going to be a kids room it's obviously that one there right right Lily? Oh, the windows Come on open. Lily where are you I'm here dad's here you weren't here for me dad oh damn
Oh man, that's dark. That is dark. That is harsh. Now he looks a little bit more like the old Sebastian that we uh, knew and tolerated. Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. <laughs> you sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're going to tell me about Mobius. And why would she do that? I'm here because of this. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. What? Why? And she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Nice. <laughs> Bitch. I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Damn. Kidman's become uh, quite the corporate sellout. Interesting. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this sense bullshit. Of humor? Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. Well, they built another one. The surprise, Beacon surprise. The hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. Yes. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. Hmm. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. Controlling the population. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. Oh, oh, 5 Alpha. You connected Lily to that machine? <clears throat> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, 
The new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Hmm. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. How gracious of you. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. Asshole. It's your choice. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. Well, I don't trust any of those bastards, but uh, we don't have a choice. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. STEM entry in three, two, one. So that's how we got back inside the STEM. I was wondering how they're going to do that. The seamless transition of the first STEM system. You know what? Actually, visually, I think the game's quite nice. It is a huge improvement over the first game. Characters look a lot better. Yes, we're in the stem, Sebastian. Ooh. How curious. Dad, help me! I'm coming, Lily! Dad! Oh. Do you not remember what it was like last time, Sebastian? I mean... I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. Is that right? So I wonder what hell is this her? place? Detective, we've got a call. All units, all units, eleven ninety nine. Expedite cover code three. Beacon Metro Hospital. There's that music again. This is pretty freaking cool. I gotta be honest. Who's on the blower? Oh, 
What the fuck? Yeah, we're back at work. Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My okay. memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your subconscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Right, one thing, I will also apologise for any background noise. You, uh, well, it's, um, firework night tonight. Guy Fawkes, so, yeah, there's fireworks going off left, right, and centre. So, anything unfamiliar? Okay, well, the textures could have been better. That's for sure. Yeah, we're getting this horrible, uneven frame pacing, which you can understand, I suppose, looking at the frame rate, but... Just it doesn't feel nice, you know. So this cat. is our dig. Oh, I don't ever remember owning a cat. No, but there's a lot of symbolism before. Hey, buddy. From the DLC with Kidman. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school. I guess so. Photographic slide, a relic from a pre-phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide project, uh, projector in Sebastian's room. Right, you are. Ah, buddy. All right. Well, let's see what we've got. Oh. Well, that's probably not very nice for him to look at, but uh, let's stand up. So, where do we get the brain juice? I'm assuming we still uh, get level ups and upgrades and whatnot. At least I hope so, because I really like that. Save terminals. Save to. Oh, hello! This is different. Save terminals can be used. Save your progress at any time. They can be found in safe houses and in Sebastian's room. Safe houses, right. I like that. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, Mr. Cat. What else we got? Where do we get our weapons? Can we play with a cat? Does a cat do anything? Go there, buddy. Yes, having having a wash. I'm surprised he's not uh, climbing up our face right about now. Um. Okay, so we have the mirror there. Is that can we use that? Well, this stem system doesn't seem as sculpty and horrible. So I mean that's something. Um wow, okay. We'll investigate. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Hmm. All right. What have we got? <laughs> Baker. William, age 39, Teenager. male. He's the guy I should try to find first. Secondary st uh, skills, combat specialist, tactical planning. Alright. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. 
Oh, hell. Great. Modius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need yeah, to find she's Lily. right. Otherwise, she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Woohoo! All right, well, that sounds fun. Harrison. Miles. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. So age 37, male, hardware support, heavy equipment repair, and combat specialist. O'Neill. O'Neill, nice. They must nice. not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Technical support, equipment, fa equipment fabrication. Very nice. And logistics. All right. Hoffman. 32. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Hmm. Female, 32, 110 pounds. Psychological profiling. Uh-oh. Uh, team medic and surveillance, right? Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Hmm. 30, male... STEM software programmer, communications and small small arms proficiency. That means he's pretty good. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, Gonna have to agree with Sebastian. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detective <laughs> anyway, okay? Ah, she's got you there, buddy. She's got you there. Right. Okay. Uh, how do we get cracker lacking with this then? Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Well, my friend, now you get to see it again. My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. Yeah, I guess so, buddy. I guess so. Well, don't you worry your little head about it, mate. Because we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, at least try and sort some, some, some kind of solution out. Uh, no guarantees and all that. Right. What else can we fondle? Okay. So I think. Hang on. Let's try that again. When's the door closed? Right. So. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so if you're sprinting into a door, you don't need to push E to open. He also kicks the door open. I like that. That's nice. Um, are we done here? Can oh, there we go. I guess I guess we are. Just like Beacon, should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? <laughs> Were it so easy, my friend. Were it so easy. Right. Well, let's save up. I keep thinking my cat's meowing at the door, especially as it's firework night, but uh, it's just the black cat. This is chapter two. Why don't I have all me cool grenades and guns and things? Here we go again. Into the looking glass. You got it, buddy. Let's do it. So, something not quite right. Sebastian enters STEM. Oh. Oh, the problem of an SSD. Oh, no. Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. Aww. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. Hmm. 
You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. <laughs> Are you sure you're not coming down with something? <coughs> hmm. The acting isn't overly convincing, but uh, it's okay. Come on, buddy. Stay with me. Is this the right place? Uh, well, it's all we've got, Sebastian, so let's hope so. Hey, there's our familiar health bar and stamina and all that. All right, cool, cool. Now, where's all the damn zombies at? Where do I get my first grenade launcher? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, big empty mansion type thing. Can we sit? Aw. Oh. oh. Hello. I thought we was going to get some Mario 64 shit then. We could just like jump through the painting. That would have been cool. William Baker. Oh. V is the flashlight. We are going to have to change that. We've certainly been what here before. The hell? This looks like the mansion from the first game. Whoa. That's one of the search team. Baker. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna say his brain is leaking. Oh, what? Um Oh, that's, that's cool, man. That's so cool. Uh, hey, bud. Um, I don't think we can help him. Whoa, check out his, like, brain coming out, man. That's cool. That's rad as fuck. Whoa. Whoa. What the cheese and biscuits hey, is going on? One bullet straight through the head. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, right, well. I guess there's next to nothing we can do about our empty headed friend now. Oh, music stopped. Well, we're gonna have to love him and leave him. Investigate. Oh, hello. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. Hmm. Well, we'll investigate that in a minute, my friend. What have we got here? Files. Sadistic. One of forty. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. Mm. Baker, the search team leader. He was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by the camera, uh, right by him. But how is this even possible, S Sebastian? Look, how is this even possible? Uh, you're in STEM, Sebastian. Okay. Uh, anything is possible in STEM. Or have you forgotten that? I very much doubt that that is the most fucked up weird thing that we are going to see today. The animations are massively better as well, which is cool. Now, I would like a save point soon because I've got a stream to get to. Hmm. We can't melee or break anything. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Yellow. Hello? Shit. Who is that? Ruvik, is that you? You dick. Because if it is, I'm going to have to stomp on your little brain again. Now, I don't want to do that. Um, you know. But, uh, but I will. And I'll enjoy it. So, fairly warned you have been by me. Says I. Kind of hoping for a save point soon as well. Because, uh... So, can we open that? Help! Hello. Hey! And Aaron. she's gone. What's going on here? Sebastian. Like, wake up, buddy. Wake up. You're, right, once more. <clears throat> you're in STEM. Alright? That means you're going to see a lot of weird shit. A lot of people dying. And uh, stuff that you cannot explain. Alright? Ooh. That looks like somewhere we can go. Um, now, now, buddy. I mean, I'm understanding that. I don't know why you're not. That is Evil Within 101, sir. That's as basic as it gets. Another file. Extravagant letter to applicant SV. Congratulations, truth seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual activity test. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest Mew Center with this letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of Mew Disciple. This letter guarantees you an exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. Uh-oh. Handwritten on the back of the envelope are lies, all lies. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that. All right. So, someone's been drinking a lot of Kool-Aid around here. Hmm. Intriguing. Evil cult. That would be interesting. Oh. Alright, take, take a breather, buddy. Take a breather. Check those corners. <clears throat> now, as much as I'd like to do a 100% play run, because this is obviously a blind playthrough, I can't guarantee that. In fact, highly unlikely. Now that we've seen before. Ooh. What was that? Shit. Entering and exiting cover. Space. Enter and exit cover when the cover icon is displayed. The I the cover icon figure one uh, will be displayed when you're facing a valid cover point. Moving in cover, WSD to move alongside cover around corners. When near a corner in cover, an arrow icon will be displayed. Move in the direction. Oh, so go around the cover without breaking. Okay, I like that. How did we... Who the hell was that? Well, I'm assuming, my good sir, we we're going to find out before long. At least, at some point. Just less like search to you. Endlessly going to die. Wow, look at that. Over and over and over again. Well, sorry, bruh. Can't really help you, though. Can we? Can't fiddle with anything here. Alright. Hmm. I gotta find a way out of here. You don't say, Sebastian. You don't say. So 
So someone likes taking photos. Ooh. Hello. So we have massive eyes. Voyeurism. Seems to be the name of the game. I guess. Oh, someone's having fun. Damn it, we've got so many options here. So many ways to go. Or have we? <coughs> Is it just an illusion? How can we go upstairs? God damn, okay, that stamina's gonna annoy me again, isn't it? Now, do we go upstairs? Now, one thing I do remember is if you don't explore all the different paths, you can miss out on stuff. And it's not overly clear always which is the right way to go. Which is something that I'm not a massive fan of, to be honest. I mean, this obviously is not the right way to go. As is this. Right, okay, well, let's get out of here. Let's go back to where we were. Which was... Not this way. You alright, buddy? We really need to work on that stamina, mate. That is pathetic. What happened? What happened to all the brain juice you were shot full of in the last game? So double tapping E kicks the door open. Alright. The controls feel, uh, now early days of course, but the controls feel a lot more seamless. Another file. Another photo of another victim. A photo of another murder victim. This is a Mobus. Mobus. Uh, Mobius uniform. Well lit and in focus. Looks like a gun was used to shoot him in the head. Mm. Yeah. Well. Oh, hang on. Was that not... I guess that's not the right way to go after all. Oh. That's where we came from. That doesn't appear to lead anywhere. Unless we can jump down, which of course we cannot. Bloody stamina. <laughs> Five minutes into the game, the stamina is already irritating the hell out of me. So, I guess we're going this way. Oh. There's our friend. Hey, asshole. Don't think you're going to be getting your uh, wicked way with me, my good sir. I'll fuck you up, boy. Maybe. You know, at least in our mind, we'll, we'll, we'll fuck him up. Ooh. I'm getting a Bioshock right. vibe here. That ain't pretty, is it? I mean, it is, but... You know. Huh. Investigate. That's pretty cool. Alright. So we can go there, I'm guessing. Where else? It's kind of like I'm missing a low growl. Can't even search that door. Can't go there, I'm guessing. Alright, well, so the elevator it is. Hopefully this leads to a safe room. We're going to have to get you some cardio, mate. Some serious cardio. Well, so far, I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. Oh, now we're going a bit more Silent Hill. Yep. 
I really would be a lot happier if I had a gun. You're right, buddy. We we got this, Sebastian. Top men are on. Oh, ooh, hello. Top men are on the job. All right, there, fellas. You had a you had a bit of a bad time, I see. Well, don't you worry about. Oh hell. Oh hell. Don't you worry about nothing. Do we? No. Well, let's go have a look at the camera. Now there's a door. Oh, hey, pal. Oh, shit. Well, guys, the game just saved. So I think... Oh, hello. We're going to end this part here. I'm liking this. The controls are a lot better. The controls are much, much better. Everything's more fluid and, and everything responds a lot be uh, quicker. I think would be the best. It, it feels smoother, which is nice. Uh, performance is okay at the moment. It's not too bad. Um, hmm. Liking this new guy, this, this chap that's taking loads of photos. That's quite interesting. Looking forward to seeing where this is, goes. I can't wait till we can get out into the town and start exploring as well. Yes. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this game with me. I know I'm going to love it. Well, <laughs> I hope I'm going to love it, but very promising start. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.